Hi, this is Scott Jangro from Jangro.com and I'm going to show you how to change the lamps in your General Electric Advantium microwave oven. Here's my oven right here. It's a nice uh, microwave. It's an, uh, a cabinet mount model and it's got two lights in it. Uh, one is underneath and uh, which is the which lights the range and the other one is inside this is the important one and it lights up when the microwave is on and if you have used it with a burnt out light um, it can make it difficult to keep an eye on your food as it's cooking now the uh, those both of those lamps are exactly the same uh, so when you purchase replacement lamps it doesn't hurt to get uh, at least a couple of them. I have found out, and maybe uh, this is just a problem with the electric, electrical system in my house, that they, they do burn out pretty easily. Um, I found that to be true with halogen lamps in general. To um, get at this lamp, uh, you need to remove this cover. And by looking at it, it, look, it can look pretty hard to get at. Um, if your microwave is under warranty, you uh, may be able to get someone to come out and do this for you. But it's actually pretty easy. Again, you need to remove this cover. First of all, you want to unplug the microwave. Um, in our case, our plug is up in this cabinet. And to remove this, you need to re remove one, two, three screws. Uh, I will do that, and I'll be right back. Uh, before I do, here's the replacement lamp. Um, you can get this online, and I'll post a link. And let's see if we can see the part number here. Um, you can also get this at local appliance stores that have a parts department. Um, it's a pretty common lamp, I believe. Um, I've been able to just walk in, ask, uh, give a part number um, or the model number of the microwave, and they were able to provide me with the lamp. For six bucks or so, um, I always buy uh, a few of them at least, maybe four, uh, if, I've, if I'm buying them online to save on shipping. Okay, so I have now removed the screws, and once you do that, this comes off very easily and exposes the inside of the top of the microwave. In here is the dangerous electrical stuff. Um, in here is the vent. Um, filter and the fan behind it and there's a metal plate that covers the whole top and the light is down inside the uh, air vent holes right here. Uh, there's evidence that uh, it needs to vent some of the heat from the lamp. So now uh, there's a couple things we need to do to get at the light. We need to remove this protective cover um, to do that, there are two screws, one here and one here. And then take off um, an additional screw right here so that this plate can lift up. Okay, so at this point, uh, I have, of course, unplugged the microwave. And I have removed the two screws that allow me to remove that cover. Uh, one right here and one right here that this one over here also holds down the metal plate and there's also a screw right here. At this point, um, you can remove this cover, just kind of get it out of the way, and now this plate will lift up. And look in here, see if this works, you can see where the light bulb is. There's a uh, shiny metal clip that has um, that you can see it's got a white connector on it and to remove that and that has the light bulb in it to remove that you pinch it and I'll be able to show you that after I get it out okay. and here it is right here um, but it's got it, it clips in like this and, and to 
you squeeze this in to disengage this tab right here that is holding it in place. Now here's the lamp and I'll show you a picture of the actual box so you can see the part number and stuff. Um, and this just pulls out. So you just pull out the burnt out lamp. This one's good so I'm not going to replace it. But you, you pull that out, put the new one in, and reverse your steps. Put the back in first and squeeze it into place so it clips. Put the metal cover back down, put this piece back in. Be careful not to touch any electrical components just to be safe. Put this piece back in and screw it all together again. again three screws here and uh, grating on back on the front and then three screws up top and you are good to go.